Hi, this is Bradley Barth from SE Media. I'm here at Walmart headquarters in Bentonville, Arkansas with Jerry Geisler. He is the Senior Vice President and CISO at Walmart. We're going to be talking a little bit today about Walmart Global Tech's uh, Media Day uh, here at the headquarters. And I might even throw in a couple of questions inspired by Sam Walton's uh, 10 Rules of Building a Better Business. Uh, so, Jerry, uh, first thing I want to ask you is, um, why was this the, the right time for Walmart to start to share with the world uh, what it's doing in the cybersecurity space and giving us access into your data center, your SOC, and giving us a better sense as to what you're working on? Uh, thanks, Bradley, and thanks for your time today. The reason that we're doing this now is um, our CEO, Doug McMillan, has, has been very clear in saying that he wants Walmart to be the most trusted retailer. And we believe that we play a fairly significant role in helping to achieve that goal. Um, it's a space that we haven't leaned forward in terms of telling our story uh, externally. And if we want to build trust with the consumer, we have to give them something to base that trust upon. Um, so we decided to invite individuals such as yourself in today and, and talk about what we do. And you've been with Walmart for, I believe, over 30 years, and I think it stretches back to even the very end of uh, Sam Walton's tenure. Uh, what are some of the most seismic changes that you feel like you've seen uh, over the years? You know, when I first started in the security organization, um, it looked it looked different than it did today, as you would expect. I've been in the security organization over 20 years. Um, as I shared earlier, we're fortunate in that Walmart made investment in the information security space well over two decades ago. So over that 20 years, what we've seen in terms of evolution, in terms of capability, um, has, has shifted as dramatically as we've seen the tech landscape shift. Um, our focus has always been on ensuring that we are making investments in the right capabilities, um, the right practices, and candidly, the right services. Uh, to help scale with the company as the company has grown over those two decades. I'm going to ask you uh, your first Sam Walton uh, business rules uh, question, uh, which is uh, rule number nine is control your expenses better than your competition. Now, in the cybersecurity space, it's clear that Walmart wants to innovate, and it's important to innovate. Uh, obviously, innovation also costs. So uh, how, how do you find that uh, balance of, of being on the cutting edge and, and um, continuing to upgrade uh, your security operations while uh, always keeping in mind that philosophy uh, of uh, strategic uh, thriftiness? Is it a matter of just building the right business case for any particular cyber innovation that you want to do? So, so we do um, adhere to our everyday low-cost mantra, um, but not in a way that would create untenable risk. Um, we've been fortunate and have found over the years that we're very well supported. We have the support of our full executive team, of our board. And, and when and where we have found a need to go and do something beyond maybe what we had planned to do that year, we do exactly that. We build a business case um, and we take it forward and present it. And, and we have often, almost always, I would say, found that um, we have the support from the organization to do what we need to do. Some of the particularly um, uh, cutting edge areas that um, Walmart is experimenting with right now are things like uh, drones for delivery and uh, autonomous trucks for delivery, um, uh, the meta metaverse. Um, these are exciting new frontiers to potentially uh, expand business, but it also expands the uh, the attack surface and risk. Um, so, how do you uh, you know accommodate for that, and uh, to what degree are you uh, investing efforts into looking at the uh, security uh, at these uh, emerging uh, technologies and platforms? Any, any space that we enter into as a company, um, we enter into that space fully informed. So we're, we're fortunate in that information security has a seat at the table. And, and as we are debating or considering which directions to take our business, whether it be drone delivery or autonomous vehicles, et cetera, 
security is at the table, and, and we are acting as um, as uh, information security or technology professionals to help guide to avoid missteps. It's not it's not our role to necessarily say no. Um, in fact, my team often hears me say that we do not want to be the department of no. Um, we want to enable our business, and um, when one of the ways that we do that is making sure the business is fully informed of risks that may be relevant to our space as we make those decisions. You probably heard me say earlier today that you know the things that create value for our business very often create risk in our space, and that's okay. Um, we we want the company to be able to pursue those things that create value, um, but we want to move forward in a way that's fully informed. All right, I have one last Sam Walton rule for you, which is rule 10, uh, swim upstream. So just the idea of uh, defying convention um, and uh, thinking outside the box. And so uh, I just would like to ask you, uh, how do you feel like uh, Walmart um, Global Tech and its security operations uh, what's its biggest uh, differentiator in uh, how it strategically goes about its business compared to uh, of other industries uh, that are, you know, also uh, obviously engaged in cybersecurity programs? What are you doing uh, differently that makes you uh, stand out? Yeah, I, I would say it comes down to our culture, and uh, and the culture that we really try to create here in information security is around one of our core basic beliefs, which is strive for excellence. And how that manifests itself within information security is in um, never being content with where we're at, always challenging the status quo, always asking ourselves the hard questions around how could we do something better? How could we be more effective, more efficient? What aren't we thinking about in the, the right context? Um, and, and to some extent, never being satisfied. But but not in a way that creates a, a, a workplace culture that people don't want to be a part of, but, but really one that empowers people um, to, to have uh, a degree of autonomy where they feel that they can go and think about the hard problems and bring forward ideas and innovations. And we're very supportive of our engineers and associates doing exactly that and candidly some of the some of what i think are maybe our strongest capabilities have come from exactly that from our engineers on the teams solving challenges